Our dependence on oil comes at a steep cost, and it may be more serious than most people realize. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with filmmaker Shannon Walsh to learn more about the Alberta tar sands and her documentary, H2 Oil. So what are the, the tar sands or the oil sands? Yeah, the tar sands, um, and I think using tar sands is more clear than oil sands, the rebranding by the industry. And this covers about the size of England in northern Alberta, also into Saskatchewan and other areas. And basically what it is, it's like this gooey substance that's locked in the sand that for a long time they didn't know how to get out. And they finally figured out how to get out, and some of it is what you see in my film, huge surface mining projects. There's a few other processes, but basically they're trying to heat that sand up so that they can get this bitumen out of it that will then be refined into crude oil. There's so many environmental impacts of the tar sands. Some of the ones that I really focus a lot on in the film are the extreme amounts of fresh water usage, the huge amounts of carbon emissions, these tailings ponds, huge vats of toxic wastewater that are sitting very close to the river and the river systems. There's boreal forest destruction. The list goes on and on. It's really the end of the line in terms of any kind of sensical environmental project. Tell us about the issue of the importance of oil versus water. Yeah, I think ultimately for me that was the, the guiding question for the film, what is more important, water or oil? I mean, for me it just broke my heart and I think a lot of people would feel the same to see fresh water being expended for this dirty crude oil that was going to create more carbon emissions. There's something fundamental that we need to live in water and, and oil is really about our excessive lifestyle. I really feel like the days where we could live that kind of a life are, are coming to an end and we, we do have to take a hard look at that. What effect are the, the tar sands having on that specific area? Right at the front lines of this whole situation is this indigenous community of Fort Chippewayan that's downstream from the industry and they were the first really to bring attention to what was happening within the land and the environment and started saying, hey, wait a minute, what you're hearing isn't isn't the whole truth. And so um, people like George Potras, who was a community leader in Fort Chippewayan, started talking about the amounts of, of cancers that were, and rare illnesses, autoimmune diseases that they were seeing, not only problems in the environment, but also people dying in their community at really high numbers. Since actually the, the film has been out, there has been admissions by the Alberta government that these cancer rates are higher. So we know that this is true, it's just, are we willing to open our eyes to the real consequences of this development? What do you hope H2 Oil accomplishes? I think in making H2 Oil, I was really hoping that it would prompt discussion, really make a, take a hard look at what we're doing in Alberta. At the time when no one was talking about it, I felt like maybe this will be the opening. I feel like now we're almost ready for more, and I really hope that the film leads to action. I hope it leads to people feeling that they should get involved, um, because I think each one of us does have to get involved. And so, in a sense, it's a, it's a documentary, and, and it's a film that hopes to make real change. Thank you very much. Thank you.